This afternoon's event marks as one of the most awaited special event not only to our dear students but also to our proud and supportive parents. To our ever-dynamic school directress, Dr. Aimee Dulu-Corpus, to our board of directors, to our highly competent and deeply motivated members of the Casa de Libro Incorporated faculty and staff, to the proud and loving parents, to our students, visitors, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. Welcome to CASA's commencement exercise for school year 2022-2023. To formally start our program, may I request everyone to please stand for the opening prayer to be led by Julius Gabriel Magadia, a student from our DG module program, and please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Father in heaven, we exalt you today. You are holy and loving. You are the source of all blessings. Thank you for bringing us together online to recognize the hard work and dedication of all students. As we honor each one, help us to remember that all glory belongs to you. Thank you for our school heads, teachers, and for all the staffs, and for every homeschooling families who supported and encouraged us through the school year. We pray that you bless them and continue to give them grace. Lead us to become the person you have created us to be. We ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging tebas ng sigatanan, alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang tuyan ka ng magiging sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang tutok sa Gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you our school directress and principal, Dr. Aimee Dulu Corpus. Mga minamahal kong mag-aaral ng Casa de Libro, sa araw na ito, tayo nagtitipon upang ipagdiwan ang pagkatapos ng mga mag-aaral na sakop ng K-12 program at ng Casa de Libro. Sa ganitong panahon, tayo'y binabalik-balikan sa mga taon ng pag-aaral at paghahanda ng ating mga kabataan. Ngunit ang higit na maganda sa pagdiriwang na ito ay ang pagkilala sa lakas at tibay ng ating mga mag-aaral na hinubog ng matatag na edukasyon. Ang K-12 program ay isang malaking hakbang tungo sa pagpapalakas ng pundasyon ng ating sistema ng edukasyon. Sa pamamagitan nito, tayo'y nagkaroon ng mas malawa at komprehensibong kurikulum na nagtutugma sa mga pangangailangan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Ang DG Online, ang online views at ang independent learning. Sa loob ng sampu o labing dalawang taon, ang ating mga kabataan ay tinuruan at binigyan ng mga kasanayan na siyang nagbibigay daan sa kanila upang harapin ang hamon ng buhay. Ang ating mga mag-aaral ay hinubog ng matatag na edukasyon. Sila'y pinagkalooban 
ng kasanayan at kalaman at disiplina upang harapin ang mga hamon sa mundong patuloy na nagbabago. Sa ilalim ng mga programa ng Casa de Libro, natutunan nilang tanggapin ang mga pagsubok ng buong tapang at magpatuloy sa kabila ng mga balakin. Ang kanila mga tagumpay ay hindi lamang nagkakapagpakita ng kanilang galing at talino, kundi higit sa lahat ng kanilang kakayahang bumangon sa tuwing sila'y nadarapa. Ang matatag na edukasyon na ating ibinigay ay hindi lamang nagturo sa ating mag-aaral ng mga pagsasaulo at mga akademikong kasanayan. Ito rin ay nagbigay sa kanila ng mga kahalagahan at mga pangunahing prinsipyo magsisilbing gabay sa kanilang buhay. Sila'y tinuruan ng pagpapahalaga sa pagsisikap, pagkakaisa, pagiging malikhain, at pagiging responsable ang mamamayan. Ang mga ito ay pundasyon ng kanilang pag-unlad bilang mga individual at ng ating lipunan bilang isang buo. Sa mag-aaral na ngayon ay graduate o mag-move up sa Casa de Libro, ay eh tayo'y dapat natin silang ipagmalaki. Sila mga produkto ng isang sistemang edukasyon na pinagtibay ng mga tao ng pagsisikap at pag-aaral. Ngayon, sila'y handang harapin ang mundong maghihintay sa kanila. Ang kanilang tagumpay ay hindi lamang kanila, kundi tagumpay nating lahat, lalo na kanilang mga magulang. At sa ating mga mag-aaral, tandaan ninyo ng inyong pagtatapos ay hindi ang wakas, kundi simula ng bagong pagsubok at tagumpay sa inyong pag-aaral at sa inyong buhay. Mabuhay mga mag-aaral ng Casa de Libro. Congratulations to the moving up of Casa de Libro. At this point, we would like to call on our independent learning coordinator, Ms. Marvik Solueta, to introduce our guest speaker. Coach Ivy Marquez homeschooled all her three kids from kinder to high school. She's a mother to David, Gabriel, and Daniela. All three are now successful in their chosen careers. David is the owner and chief technology officer of Shipmates, a startup logistics company. Gabriel is a customer service manager of DHL Canada. Daniela is a medical doctor from the La Salle Medical School. Coach Ivy is also a speaker on marriage, family, and personal development. She holds corporate training courses such as Emotional Intelligence, Strengths Finder, and the Gottman Relationship Program. She's also a Busan licensed instructor of mind mapping in the Philippines the only four certified trainers in the country. After her kids have graduated from high school, Coach Ivy opened a progressive school in Alabang called 360 Studio School. She became the director for five years and has since moved to doing full-time corporate training and workshops under teaching moms. Currently, Coach Ivy is our Character Kids and Leaders Prep workshop teacher. She introduced mind mapping to CASA and has since made a goal to make us the only mind mapping school in the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, our speaker for today, Coach Ivy Marquez. Hello everyone, this is Coach Ivy wanting to say congratulations to all of you to the students na mga nagsunog ng kilay para mairaos ang isang taon. Good job to you guys. Lahat tayo naka-online, naiintindihan ko. Uh, mahirap yon dahil nakakapagod din kahit online. At alam ko marami kayong mga assignments na ginawa, projects na ginawa, lalo na sa mga klase ko. Pero palakpakan natin ang ating mga sarili for a job well done. Ganoon din ang mga parents, palakpakan natin ang ating mga parents na sumuporta sa atin 
Guys, sila ang mga nag-print ng worksheets natin. Sila ang gumabay sa atin. Sila ang nagpursigi para mairaos natin ang isang taon at ang mga taon na nakadaan para lang makabigay sila ng magandang edukasyon para sa atin. At most of all, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon na binigyan tayo ng health, binigyan tayo ng isang taon na wala namang problema sa ating kalagayan. Thank you, Lord, for the whole school year that has passed. Now, this moving up ceremony is not the finish line, as we all know. It is a part of our life that is a journey where we go a notch higher. Kung baga, hindi ito finish line na tapos na tayo, graduate na, yay! Hindi natatapos ang buhay natin dito at hindi ibig sabihin ay tapos na, kalimutan na ang lahat. Uh, ito ay isang moving up. Ibig sabihin, moving up to the next level, to the next step. Isang baitang ang ating pupuntahan. Moving to progress, yan ang ibig sabihin yan. Hindi ibig sabihin ay kalimutan na lahat ng uh, nakaraan at pinag-aralan. And moving up means bringing along everything that we have gathered for the whole year. Moving up is about thinking and reflecting about our life, thinking about what have I learned? Ano natutunan ko itong buong taon na to? Ano natutunan ko tungkol sa akin? Anong na-discover ko tungkol sa ibang tao at tungkol sa aking mga kakayahan? Ano ang nag-improve sa aking character? Ano ang mindset na nagbago dahil sa isang taon na to? Natutuwa ako sa aking mga leader prep classes. Bigyan nila ako ng feedback sa mga maliliit at malalaking bagay na natutunan nila. At yan dapat ang ginagawa natin, lalo na bago magsimula ang isa pang taon. Pag nilay-nilayan natin, pag isip-isipan natin, ano nga ba ang mga natutunan ko? Paano ko dadalhin ang aking mga natutunan? Ang paano ko i-apply ang mga natutunan ko para sa susunod na baitang na aking tatahakin. You know, students and parents, this is what we're doing with our children. We are helping them carry boxes and boxes of real-life skills, knowledge, and more so character and attitude na madadala nila para sa kanilang kinabukasan para sa kanilang future. Ano nga ba itong mga ito? At sana itong buong SEM break, summer break na ating uh, i-enjoy ay puno ng mga pagninilay-nilay, puno ng reflection sa magandang bukas na haharapin natin lahat. Ano ang madadala ko? So, as we progress, And as we celebrate, everybody, applaud yourself for staying fast, for staying even when it's really very hard. Congratulate yourself, guys. The fact na nandyan ka ngayon, bumabangon, may magandang pananaw sa bukas, ito ay already isang measure ng success. Good luck everybody to your next journey. Bring with you all those loads of learnings. Bring with you all those loads of experience, good or bad. I hope you learn from the bad experiences and the good we keep. Move forward to what's up ahead. Keep on having that great perspective. Parents, ganun din po sa inyo. We are the very guide for our children. At sana makita po nila ganun din ka-fervent ang ating pananaw sa buhay. Good luck everybody until I see you again this next school year. And now we do have a special presentation from our students. 
Thomas Benjamin Aguas from the DG Mojo Program and Miguel Sabino Esteban from the Independent Learning Program. Let's give them a round of applause. The 
once that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not, because the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost in the way, because the dreams bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back, memories bring back you. There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain. When I believed in forever and everything would stay the same. Now my heart feel like December when somebody say your name. Cause I can't reach out to call you when no I will one day. Yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody hurts someday. Hey, hey. Everything gonna be alright. Go raising glass and say, hey. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Those are the ones here today Those are the ones that we lost in the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories and The memories bring back, memories bring back you do 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 Memories bring back, memories bring back you there's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost When I felt all of the hatred Was so powerful to stop Now my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya When no will never drop Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday Hey, hey Everything gonna be alright, go every single lesson say, hey, here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not, cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Those are the ones here today, those are the ones that we lost in the way, cause the dreams bring back all the memories, and the memories bring back, memories bring back you. Do 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 Memories bring back, memories bring back you. Do 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 Memories bring back, memories bring back you. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah 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 no. Memories bring back, memories bring back you. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the completers from the DG module program for the academic year 2022-2023. Thomas Benjamin Suba with high honors. Thomas is the second place in the storytelling contest, second place in the public speaking contest, and Tawag ng Tanghalan Grand Champion. Alcantara, Satoshi Carlos Bautista. And then, Zach Rubio Ebidag with highest honors. Arabejo, Clyde Camir Almendra with high honors. Clyde received a soccer certificate, training topic including freestyle, backstroke, treading, water. Astudillo, Indigo Mikael Esperas. Achiever, Indigo was upgraded to yellow belt in the Karate Class Certification. Bornai, Sydney Erin Jean Diesel, with highest honors. De Guzman, Summer Madeline Tupas, with high honors. Galamay, Vince Jacob Valdez. Gali, Florence Colleen Alcuerto, with highest honors. Florence is the first place in the Storytelling Contest and Public Speaking Contest Champion. 
Gamila Jean Lorenzo Libiran with high honors. Grand Cassandra Margot Dimabuli with high honors. Hirano Luigi Ryuko Toreno with high honors. Isidro Caleb Elijah Magsipok with high honors. Jarenio Julius Jacob Cardona with honors. Kim Kayin Gian Gayas with highest honors. Lim Joanna Abigail Isaiah Santos with honors. Magadia Julius Gabriel Velasquez with high honors. Julius is the third place in the storytelling contest. Mataverde Eldrin Jr. Compass Achiever Molve Julius Jacob Oline with highest honors. Navarro Kaiser Wilhelm Mariano with highest honors. Kaiser is the third place in the public speaking contest, fourth place in the interprogram spelling bee, second place in the storytelling contest, and first place in the DG Mojo spelling bee. Nayasan Gabriel Joy Pingian with high honors. Palma Christoph Sander Cascante with highest honors. Rivera Cassidy Blair Di Marucot with high honors. Sabado Sofia Editea Fancubilia Achiever. Shadud Maxim Regaspi with highest honors. Maxim is the second place in the storytelling contest. Season Alexander Luke Valencia with high honors. Tuason Erin Soleil Torres with high honors. Erin is the third place in the public speaking contest. Valerio Azrael Kenobi Managelod with high honors. Azrael is the third place in the storytelling contest, third place in the public speaking contest, second place in the Nutrition Month blog making contest, first place in the Thanksgiving speech contest, and the Interprogram Spelling Bee Grand Champion. Azrael also participated in the Catwalk Asia 2023 ramp model. Vergara, Kyle Picchio with high honors. Vicencio, Francis Ethan with high honors. Villanueva, Wesley Jed Velasquez with high honors. And Villarreal Althea Emily Labajo, Achiever. Antolin Paul David Velasquez, with high honors. Baro Kian Kaylee Kahuday, with high honors. Buelo Gabriel Baluyot, with highest honors. Bulusan, Matt Daniel Silaran, Achiever. Matt is the third place in the storytelling contest. Kadasho, Princeton Dirk De Guido, with high honors. Quaresma, Diana Rene Arminio, with high honors. Galupo, Zarina Kalia Simon Leonardo with high honors. Guillermo Robert Jacob Soren Toledo with highest honors. Robert is the second place in the public speaking contest 
and first place in the storytelling contest. Guitu, Lei Celine Butigan, Achiever. Laksa, Yuri Gabriel, with highest honors. Yuri is the second place in the storytelling contest. Mafe, Jed Gabriel Rosas, with highest honors. Jed is the first place in the storytelling contest. Navarro, Alicia Daniela Merca, with high honors. Pagarigan, Zenaya Faith Guevara, with high honors. Homer, Raiden Bryce Espiritu, with honors. Rosario, Sabina Denise Mercado, with high honors. Sheets, Nathan Luke Javier, with honors. Vincent, Raymond Kyle Reyes, with high honors. Raymond is a public speaking contest champion. And Zapanta, Sian Colleen Tevez, with honors. Aquino Nate Zekari Almulhel, with high honors. Barro Kim Cyril Kahudai, with high honors. Bernardo Santino Miguel Fontanares with highest honors. Santino also received Thanksgiving Speech Contest, first place. Poster Making Contest, first place. Public Speaking Contest, third place. And Nutrition Month Blog Making Contest, third place. Kabe Rian Angeli Nicole Arcelo Achiever De La Paz Aaron Zuriel Layage Completers Aaron also received Tawag ng Tanghalan Second Runner Up Estoninos Luis Angelo Ogon with others. Flores Rosimar Alvarez with highest honors. Gutierrez Chloe Isabel Gutierrez with honors. Lilang Mark Juni Galibo Achiever Lo Justin Bartonico with honors Moreno Hezekiah Michael Malixi with honors Rarothi Datil Asher Rakoma Achiever Asher also received Public Speaking Contest 2nd place Simon Luis Ryan Edejera Completer Velasquez S.T. Bela Berenice Andai Achiever Ventura Yuan Christopher Line Completed Baterna Jan Rangel L. Duay Completed Balusan Hana Azriel Garcia with high honors. Hannah also received Public Speaking Contest 
third place. Kayaba Eliana Victoria Castell with highest honors. Eliana also received Interprogram Spelling Bee second place. Digimodule Spelling Bee first place. Dunka Jordan Miguel Obed with honors. Guillermo Nadia Erin Cameron Toledo with highest honors. Nadia also received Public Speaking Contest 2nd place. Jarenio Julia Eunice Cardona with high honors. Julia also received Public Speaking Contest Champion Lubis Jose Mateo Lubis Completed Penachos Keoni Z. Abrasha with highest honors Vencer Julia Rini Reyes with high honors. Aliam Hannah Jewel Godcon with highest honors. Hannah also received public speaking contest third place. Nutrition Month Vlog Making Contest first place. Calso Shane Kevin Flores with highest honors. Shane also received public speaking contest second place and nutrition month vlog making contest second place. Felicitas Arian Aifa Vergara with highest honors. Galagate Amhaya Izedri with honors. Gutierrez Ian Denise Gutierrez with honors. Tuntun Jeka Nicolette with highest honors. Jeka also received public speaking contest champion. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the completers from the Independent Learning Program for the academic year 2022-2023. Beretto Samuel Joseph Celestra with honors. Samuel received the Mr. UN first runner-up. Cabanero Blake Tyler Tew with high honors. Compete Isabella Marie Magsino with honors. Caro Tyrone Gray Vervas with honors. Esguera Elise Gabriel Isidro with high honors. Esteban Miguel Sabino Blancaflor with high honors. Sabina received the poster making contest first placer and Tawag ng Tanghalan Grand Champion. Gabuya Jamie Basa with high honors. Paelmo David Luis Arsene with high honors. David received the public speaking contest champion. Rivera Rafael John Serra with high honors. Sangalang Brandon Timothy Barasona with high honors. Taotho Arjin Macy Rojas with high honors. 
Pero Travis Yuan Makiputin with high honors. Kyungson Francesca Colin Somodio with highest honors. Francesca received the Miss United Nations 2022. Viesca Martin Archer Blaise Manuel with honors. Abadiano Cloud Isaiah Bonina with high honors. Abalos Kirsten Elise Lee with honors. Kampit Ansley Jacob Magsino with honors. Ansley received the spelling bee third placer. Kawile Alexander Liam Bernadas with high honors. Dizon Marcus Keith Carpena, Achiever. Hibek Khalil Carlyle Dimapiris, Achiever. Lauta Xander Gabriel Andalesio, with honors. Mallorca Alicia Faith Ortega, with highest honors. Alicia received the poster making contest first placer. Public Speaking Contest Champion, Inter-Program Spelling Bee Second Placer, and the Independent Learning Program Spelling Bee First Placer. Marasigan Erwin Rachel Lesigues with High Honors. Erwin received the Public Speaking Contest Second Placer, Inter-Program Spelling Bee Grand Champion, and the Independent Learning Program Spelling Bee Second Placer. Membrot Lian Audrey Goya Hernandez with high honors. Tolentino Daniel Caitlin Tividad with highest honors. Caitlin received the poster making contest third placer. Villarante Jadlin De La Cruz with honors. Abadiano Rohan Eliza Bolina with high honors. Baltazar Rian Cristia Riquejo with high honors. Boneo Alexa Kiel Obo with high honors. Kalise Judian Texan, Achiever. Judian also received Thanksgiving Speech Contest second place, Public Speaking Contest champion, Miss UN second runner up. Cam Mika Kaho, Achiever. Mika also received. Thanksgiving Speech Contest first place, Public Speaking Contest second place, Miss UN first runner-up, and Tawag ng Tanghalan second runner-up. Kapulong Dean Riley Theodoro with high honors. Dean also received Public Speaking Contest, third place. And Spelling Bee, third place. Damasco Nicole Anthonet Samelo, with honors. Nicole also received Public Speaking Contest, third place. Miss United Nations 2022. Inter-program spelling B second place, tawag ng tanghalan second place, and independent learning program spelling B first place. Depra Jayan Tioza with honors. Jayan also received tawag ng tanghalan 
second place. Ilaw, Ethan Carl Rigondola with honors. Lingao Lingao Eliza Padwal with honors. Yoho Ri Mark Bordon Completers Servidad Remar Subere with honors. Remar also received Mr. UN first runner up and Tawag ng Tanghalan second place. Sionilio Jason Carl Faclara with honors. Jason also received Mr. United Nations 2020 Interprogram Spelling Bee third place and Independent Learning Program Spelling Bee second place. Abelon Angeli Felicity Yu with highest honors. Anthony also received poster making contest first place and public speaking contest champion. Albis Vanamali Reforzado with high honors. Emplica Serenity Abyss with high honors. Encarnacion Lorenzo Inigo Candano with high honors. Viray Zulia Sofia Marasigan with honors. Aldama Kian J. Oplas with honors. Kian also receives Mr. United Nations 2022 Tawag ng Tanghalan Grand Champion Arnado Mark Cyrus Pedrana with honors Mark Cyrus also receives Thanksgiving Speech Contest 2nd place Public Speaking Contest Champion Mr. United Nations 2022 Tawag ng Tanghalan Grand Champion Castanares Jewel Ticot with honors Jewel also received Miss UN Third Runner Up Conde Jenny Babe Camacho with honors. Jenny also received public speaking contest third place. Miss UN second runner up. Fabro Cassie Vane Enriquez with honors. Hervas Cyril Joy Eslera with Honors. Cyril also received Miss UN First Runner Up. Ilao Marcos Eric Keon Rigondola with High Honors. Montagot Jamaica Cebuano with Honors. Jamaica also received Public Speaking Contest 3rd place and Miss UN First Runner-Up. Napao Ella Marie Morin with honors. Ella also received Thanksgiving Speech Contest 3rd place and Miss UN Second Runner-Up. Segurigan Kate Nicole Sibonga with 
honors. Kate also received Miss UN second runner-up. Servano Sally Leonora with honors. Sally also received Miss UN third runner-up. Subong Therese Kate Dequina with honors. Therese also received Miss UN third runner-up. Inter-program spelling B third place. Tawag ng tanghalan third place. And independent learning program spelling B second place. Tabige Aaron Humphrey Quazon with honors. Aaron also received Mr. United Nations 2022 and Tawag ng Tangalan Grand Champion. Teranya Miriam Kirona with honors. Miriam also received Thanksgiving Speech Contest first place. Miss UN second runner-up. Inter-program spelling B for place and independent learning program spelling B third place. Tibas Jamil Justin Emmanuel Saladaga with high honors. Tonsal CJ Paguntalan with honors. CJ also received Mr. UN first runner-up and Tawag ng Tangalan Grand Champion. Tudara Marielle Nanas with honors. Marielle also received Public Speaking Contest second place and Miss United Nations 2022. Vego, Jeriel Rose Filone, with honors. Gariel also received Miss UN First Runner-Up. Virai Justin Miles Marasigan, with honors. Congratulations to all our completers. And now, let's hear from our student, Ansley Jacob M. Compete, and their parent, Sheila Marie M. Compete, for the words of gratitude. A pleasant good day to everyone, to all the teachers and homeschool families who are watching right now. Please allow me to share with you our wonderful experience in our homeschool journey. The other day, while I was browsing Facebook, it was exactly eight years ago that I posted homeschool was one of our options. Back then, our eldest will enter nursery. Although homeschool is not new in our country, sending your children to traditional school was the most ideal thing to do. To make the story short, we sent our children to traditional school. I must say, it was a good experience. We were very happy with our children's progress and made sure that they get help from us and their teachers. Then came pandemic. We have to stay in our homes. We all made adjustments to our work and school. No one knows what's really going to happen next. During this time, my husband and I decided to quit our jobs for time being and just stay at home with our children. We think that was the best thing to do for our family's safety. Just then, my desire to homeschool my children come to mind. It was now very accessible to find resources in the internet. And at the same time, I found people and community who do homeschool. Then I chanced upon chosen education while browsing on accredited homeschool providers in the Philippines. I started reading their information and reviews and they just tick all the boxes that I required. 
and I'm happy to say that this is our second year in homeschooling with them. What I also like about Chosen Education and Casa de Libro is that they assist parents and at the same time, they conduct workshops, not only in homeschool education, but as well as being intentional parents. Let me take this opportunity also to thank Ms. Marvick Solweta. Thank you for being patient with me, for answering all the questions and helping us in the grading system. This is all new to me, so I appreciate your help very much. To our dear teachers who make the weekly e-dialogues more fun and engaging to our children, we are truly grateful for your time and effort. Our dear coaches, Coach Ivy and Coach Bernard, for sharing your knowledge, not only in our children's education, but also how to raise them well. I am very inspired with your stories. More power to you both. To Miss Weya and her family, thank you for sharing your stories and even your struggles in our workshops. Being intentional parent made me realize how purposeful my actions and decisions are. Now I learn to communicate better and more clearly, not only to my children, but to my husband as well. To the Casa de Libro management, headed by Miss Amy, thank you for working so hard and for making our homeschool journey simple and easy. I know that you are planning for more projects and making it more innovative and advanced as we head towards the future. To all the parents, we finally made it. Loud and proud, we made it until the end. There might be struggles along the way, but we finally made it happen. Above all, thank you, Lord, for your guidance, provisions, and strength. Thank you for sending these beautiful children in our care. All the glory and honor are yours. Once again, congratulations to everyone. God bless you all, and see you next year. Good day to everyone, to our teachers, parents, and students who are watching right now. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate everyone for a job well done this academic year 2022-2023. For this school year, I had total fun with my classmates during e-dialogues and breakup rooms. It was my first time to be elected as prefect in my class. I got to meet other officers during our workshop with Ms. Swaya. Thank you, Ms. Swaya, for sharing your knowledge and advices to enhance our capabilities as leaders. We are looking forward for more trainings and workshops. I also enjoyed the Canva workshop with Ms. Sophia. I love creating posters and slides, so now it's easy for me to do digital projects in my class. It was always fun and exciting in our class during leadership prep with Coach Ivy and life skills activities with Teacher Tomei and Teacher Jun. Thank you to Casa de Libro for creating activities and contests that we can show our potentials and talents. My experience in winning the spelling bee in third place and second place in storytelling boosts my confidence and gain more knowledge. This year, since the government started lifting restrictions on COVID-19, we were able to visit different places in our country. This made our homeschooling journey more exciting. We started visiting Mount Samat in Bataan and learned about how the Filipinos and the Americans fought the Japanese during World War II. We also even visited a nature and eco park in Nueva Ecija. Then we went to La Union and a local store, which of course, we tried to ride an early form of Filipino transportation called the Kalesa. I was truly amazed by the old houses that has been restored for over the years. There was also a Michael Brewery in Vigan that we visited and they gave us a quick tour of the brewery and a walkthrough of the brewing process. But of course, we did not drink beer but I was glad to know how it was made. We also tried their local foods like empanada, ilocos bagnet, and vegan longanisa. We also visited places like Tagaytay and Batangas. We stayed at a resort where you can experience living inside a Bahay Kubo. It was December then, 
then it was extremely cold, so it was very good to try their famous hot piping bulalo. But my most favorite part is when we visited Cebu and Bohol. I had always been fascinated with the Philippine history. In Cebu, I had fun visiting historical sites and monuments like the Magellan's Cross. Cebu is really rich in history and culture. In Bohol, finally I got to see the Shagwan Hills not just in books and pictures. Throughout the trip, we met my tatai's friend who was a coin collector and a book author as well. He showed us his collection of coins and he gave us a lecture. And before we left, he gave us some coin souvenir, but that is Alfonso II and Queen Isabel. Although I had so much fun in homeschool, there were still some struggles that I have encountered, including in my math lessons. But I am grateful that I got support from my parents, my Dito Jeremy, and my Kumon teachers. And little by little, I began to enjoy math. I would also like to appreciate the people behind our after school programs, like our Taekwondo coach, art teacher, Bible study teacher, and our Sunday school teacher. Thank you for being patient with me. To my dear Nana and Tatai, my big thanks for all of your time, efforts, and sacrifices. Thank you for taking us to the beautiful places. Thank you for letting us join in workshops. I know that you are always doing your very best to, to raise me and my sister to be a better person. I will always obey and follow your advices. I love you both very much. And to our grandparents who are always rooting for us, thank you for always believing that I can do it. It gives me great confidence knowing that you're here for me and my sister. And to our almighty God for giving us blessings and giving us strength, wisdom, and protection in all that I do. The glory and honor are all yours. All that I have in my life right now is by your love and grace. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Once again, congratulations to everyone, and God bless us all. And now, let's hear from Ms. Weya May Sabado, the Managing Director of Casa de Libro, for the closing remarks. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat and congratulations sa lahat ng ating mga parents and students who completed school year 2022-2023. I only have one question for all of us. No? Kasama po ako dyan kasi ang aking mga anak din ay naka-enroll sa casa and they've completed one school year also. So I only have one question for all of us. Did you have a good school year? Yan. Diba? Nagpost ako talaga dyan. Gusto ko pong isipin ninyo ng mabuti po yan. No? So at the end of a school year, it's common and very beneficial para sa ating mga parents to look back at the you know previous months of work and do a little bit of mental review. Was it a good home school year? Uh, was it a good school year for the parents, for the students? If not, why not? Diba? If so, what made it a success? Diba? So, syempre, every year, no, ang daming pwedeng mangyari. We've got our, we had our ups and downs, um, victories and challenges, diba? But overall, the question is, how did it go? Ayan. So, ngayong nagsiselebrate po kayo ng inyong anak, ng recognition ng inyong anak inside your home right now, no? Uh, may mga bisita, naka-ready ang food, may mga balloons. I want you guys to pause first and really look into what matters most and ask this um, essential question, how did it go? Because that's the question that we should ponder right now. And the answer heavily depends on what are you really, really looking for or how do you define success in your home education. No? So for the last couple of weeks, no, I've been digging deeper by Charlotte Mason. And um, I want to share you know, what I've learned from her, um, especially you know, if that question is being asked, 
how did it go how was your school year no so at the start of the school year we've we've had you know great hopes and plans last august i clearly remember i've written it down in my notebook for seth you know now i wanted him to have a good uh, i wanted him to start learning about multiplication because for the last couple of years we've you know had a lot of challenges but the things of multiplication no so this year sabi ko gusto ko lang matutunan yung multiplication for faith naman sabi ko i just want her to uh, be independent and really learn more about her daily living skills yeah like using the rice cooker um cleaning her room um following her schedules yung mga ganyan po di ba but perhaps just like me no and everyone else no you got to the end of the year and things didn't go as you had planned or envisioned um maybe things took an unexpected turn di ba pwedeng may, pwede may nagkasakit sa pamilya no syempre may covid pa rin po no for the last couple of months pwedeng may na covid sa atin pwedeng may nag-move ng, ha- ng houses or move out of the country maybe you experience home disaster maybe marital issues relationship problems um or maybe some of us no walk through a season of grief from a loss of a loved ones or maybe no some of us welcome a new bundle of joy and all of these things requires a lot of energy and time ito yung tinatawag ko pong life happens no and when you are doing home education that life happens affects directly your home education kasi it's taking place in the same location with the same people all day Diba? So if you're basing your idea of a successful school year on the number of books that you have completed or the number of assignments that you have submitted or maybe the checklist in your planner, <laughs> then you might be disappointed. Because the goal is not just to finish a book. Maaaring nabasa ng anak ninyo lahat ng textbook or lahat ng digital or supplementary materials na pre-provide ng kasa. Pero possibly din na none of it stick into your student's mind. Diba? Because the goal is not just to complete all the assignments. No. Or, or to check everything na nasa planner niyo po. Yan. Because checking it off doesn't mean that they learned anything. Maybe a little, maybe a little, they might have learned something. But you have to look at more than just the checklist to evaluate whether this is a good school year. This was a good school year. So, Miss Wei and Tano, where do you look? Yan. We have to remember all the time that the books, the assignments, the assessments, these are just tools. All right? These are just tools to use toward the main goal. And what is that main goal? The one thing that you're looking for in each student is growth. Yan. Ulitin ko po, ang main goal po natin is growth. Ayan. Did my student grow? In what ways did my student grow? Diba? And you have to notice I didn't say na, uh, did my student grow to a specific level? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask that. Diba? Um, but maybe she might not have grown as far or, or as fast as you wanted her to. Diba? But remember that a child is a person. Baka nakakalimutan po natin yan. Our, our children, they're a person. Our students, our learners are a person. And a part of respecting that unique individual is feeding her mind and heart and allowing her to grow at her own pace without the pressure of comparison to another child or to another unique individuals. So rather than fixing your eyes on the finish line that you were hoping to, or maybe your soul says na, ah, hindi namin natapos to, hindi namin nagawa to, hindi na, hindi na tutunan ni Seth ito, di ba? Um, I, 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 I encourage all the parents to shift your gaze to the starting line, no August. And then, you know where your students where 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 your students started at the beginning of the school year and look at how far she came along the track did our student our learner grow 
And sometimes it's very, very difficult to focus on growth. Kasi mas madaling mag-checkbook, <laughs> I mean, mag, uh, mag-checkmark diba? sa planner natin or mag, mas, mag, mas madaling mag-quantify kapag uh, nakita natin kung ilang libro ang natapos sa mga anak natin. And so, where do we look for growth? No, Charlotte Mason gave us a guidance. She said, we must bear in mind that growth is the sole end of education. Let me repeat that. We must bear in mind that growth is the sole end of education. So there are four areas that we can look at. Very quickly lang ho. No? So the first one is physical growth. Yeah. Did your student grow physically? Okay. Um, that might include the growth spurt and height, but I think it also includes that student's relationship with herself. Diba? Did she come to a new realization about herself this year? Did she gain a new skill in caring for herself? Yan. No? So, ang aking um, anak, no, ang aking middle child, si Faith, no, um, meron siyang special needs. And so, um, one of the things that she learned lately talaga is to really take care of herself in terms of hygiene. Right? So, for me, that's already a physical skill. That's a growth on physical skill. Diba? So look into maybe your student learned a new physical skill or maybe she strengthened a relation that she had already started about how her will works or how her conscience needs good instruction or how good habits set her up for success. Diba? Uh, maybe you can, you can really see that she started to grasp a good perception of herself. You know how how wonderfully and fearfully she was made by our heavenly Father. No, so there's so many ways that you can look into this area. So that's the first one: physical growth. Second is what we call it intellectual growth. Yeah, did your learner grasp some ideas about how the universe works around him, or maybe no? Um, Maybe instead of asking ano pa yung mga natutunan niya, like for example, ako baka nakuha ba ni Seth yung, yung, yung nag-grasp ba ni Seth, ni Seth yung multiplication, instead of looking at the multiplication, I should be looking at things like which ideas nestled into his heart and expanded his mind. Diba? We have to remember that education is not just about how many ideas that our learner grasp. Hindi po. It's about which ones he grab unto for his own, I mean, which ones he grab for his own possession. Diba? We do not say he will remember all he knows, but we'll, let's use the phrase from Jane Austen. No? He will have had his imagination warmed in many regions of knowledge. Wow. And that's intellectual growth. Thirdly, moral growth. Ayan. This is the third area that we should look into. Ang question po dito is, in what ways have you seen your student grow in her relationship with others? Um, ano po ba yung mga yan? Respecting those who are different from her, forming her opinion justly after careful thought, showing kindness, generosity, candor in conversation. Um, you know, these are just some of the ways that you can ask no, to see if there's any moral growth. So, Look at this area with grace-filled eyes and see in what ways your student has grown morally pa po, no? And lastly, spiritual growth. Did your student grow in his relationship with God? Ba po? Mm. Um, in other words, no? Look for ways that your student is um, growing, interesting God. You know, like doing what is right, learning more about God. Um, persevering instead of giving up, honoring God, giving grace to others, and loving well. Yung mga ganyan po, no? So, always remember that, you know, we are not just educating the brain, but we are educating the whole person. You know, the ideas from the books, tulad ng sinabi ko po kanina, mga assignments, mga checklists, checklist, these are just tools that contribute to educating your child. What really contributes to her learning is, you know, life experiences. So the first one is the atmosphere of your home. Lagi ko naririnig ka sa aming Charlotte Mason, the atmosphere of your home. Um, paano mag-react si mommy, si daddy? Paano mag-usap si mommy, daddy? 
um, toxic ba sa loob ng bahay, si lolo at lola, paano ba yung, ano ba yung mga culture na pinapasok nila, si auntie, si uncle, paglabas ng anak ko, kunwari nakatira kami sa compound, kunwari ano, tas nakita nila si uncle at auntie, anong mga ginagawa, anong atmosphere inside your home. You know, the ideas that you live out and discuss every day during life experiences, this comprise at least one-third of your child's education as a person. Pangalawa, habits. No? The habits that you help your child to develop, it also contributes another third for his personal education. And lastly, the ideas that other people in your community share contribute to it. Kaya sa vision and mission ng kasa makikita po ninyo talaga, character, competence, and community. And there are three important platforms that contribute to your child's education. And that is the family, the school, and the community. Ano po? So, chances are you haven't documented all of those contributions all year. Diba? For sure, iba po ang nakadocument sa atin. Iba yung sinusulat natin. So, don't get stuck looking at what is just written on your planner or on your grading sheet. Your student has grown in many ways. Physically, intellectually, morally, spiritually. So, physically is in relation with himself. Ano po? Intellectually with the universe around him, morally with others, and spiritually with God. If you want to know if you've had a good year, you have to lift your eyes and look at the bigger picture. Palagi po, no? Ay, ay, lagi ko itong tinatandaan, sinasabi sa akin ng aking husband, the four Ps. Always look at God's bigger picture, God's plan, God's purposes, and God's promises. When you look at it, it changes everything. It changes your perspective. So we must bear in mind that growth, sabi ni Charlotte Mason, is the sole end of education. And so today, as you celebrate this recognition, look for the growth, celebrate growth, and you will see, mga inay at mga itay, that it was indeed a good school year. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And that concludes our commencement exercise for the academic year 2022-2023. Congratulations to all our parents and students. Enjoy your day!